Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest Mercy College alumna, Dr. Diana Jutner, to give the commencement address. Dr. Jutner. President Hall, Trustee Cunningham, Provost Fernandez, Dean Seidel. Thank you very thank you for this very special honor that you have bestowed upon me today. I am both humbled and grateful for it. My time teaching at Mercy for more than 35 years has been rewarding and gratifying. I have enjoyed interacting with my legal studies students as they learn difficult new concepts and develop their critical thinking skills. It makes me happy when I see them experiencing an aha moment after seeing so many puzzled looks on their faces for weeks on end as they work to incorporate these new ideas. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Give yourselves a round of applause. You're magnificent. You have worked hard to earn your degree. Let's also give your family and friends a round of applause, too, for their support. Today is a very special day for you, the graduates of the class of 2023, your friends and your families. It has been a journey for you and for them. You have received tremendous support in your academic journey from the people in your lives who love you, who inspire you, and who listen to you as you work hard to succeed. I know that I'm joined by my colleagues here on the stage who share in the joy that you are feeling on this memorable day. We here on the dais are also proud of your achievements. We will be smiling and cheering for you as you walk across the stage to be recognized. This is your day, and we're so happy to be here with you. In receiving this honorary degree, I too celebrate my journey at Mercy College. The first time I taught here was as an adjunct professor at the White Plains campus. I remember the anticipation of meeting new students and just wondering how I would relate to them and them to me. However, after my first class, I learned that Mercy students are warm and, and interested in expanding their knowledge while looking for ways to expand their opportunities after they graduate. Many of you are parents, hold down full-time jobs, and have still made the commitment to get a degree. Bravo. Teaching students from all these different life paths has been exciting, rewarding, and educational for me. It is so meaningful when a class comes together to share ideas and support one another as they take on controversial issues and are willing to debate the pros and cons of the issues while respecting each other's views. It makes me smile when I receive feedback from my online students that show they are incorporating the conflict management skills that I am sharing with them in the course. One student commented, I realized my skills were improving when my girlfriend and I were not arguing as much as we did before. <laughs> I also treasure the time I have spent with students outside the classroom. One of the most rewarding projects I have worked on is the conflict management program, which was created with Dr. Dorothy Balancio and Dr. Arthur Lerman 25 years ago. Every January for the past 23 years, we have spent time with hundreds of students as well as faculty and staff to learn and practice mediation skills that can be applied to in their personal and professional lives. This 35-hour training session has given those who participate the gift of working through complex scenarios together and coming out on the other side to celebrate each other's successes, thus creating 
a unique college experience. I have trouble holding back my tears when we share the stories of what we have learned from working with one another for two weekends. Over the last 23 years, more than 500 students, faculty, and staff have received mediation certificates. As Tim Hall retires as our president of Mercy College, I would like to thank him for his outstanding service to the college community and for the opportunity he has given to the faculty and students to spend time together outside the classroom. The Faculty Senate was given funds to distribute to faculty members who wrote proposals for creative and fun events. Students went to Albany to lobby for important issues, experienced a Broadway play, <clears throat> visited museums located in New York City, listened to music or lectures, won Digi Awards, explored historical places in Westchester, and engaged in so many other activities, too, mentioned, too numerous to mention. One opportunity I had was to spend time chatting with students over a cup of coffee, and then to go and see a magnificent ballet at Lincoln Center on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Graduation is a day to celebrate accomplishments, but it's also a day of hopes and dreams. You are at an exciting time in your life where you are going to start a new career, go to graduate school, or enrich the career you have already begun. Our faculty has provided you with the knowledge and skills that you can use in your careers. Each one of you has a special gift. You bring to the world something no one else can. Share what you know with others, and you will be surprised what you learn from them. My sincere hope is that you will enjoy your career as much as I have. I want to say thank you to my family for being here, my, my daughter and son and their spouses. I really appreciate the effort that they have made to be here. It was, it's quite, it was quite a struggle. Keep in touch. Come back and visit us. We love to know where you are and how you are doing. May you be blessed in all that you do as you take on careers that support and nurture our society thus enabling you to be a shining reflection on the institution that educated you. Now and always, thank you for sharing your gifts with us. Now it's time for us to celebrate you.